Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Tone King Imperial Mark II. It's a 20 watt combo, uh, two channel. Uh, it's got an amazing sounding tube driven uh, reverb circuit. Tremolo sounds fabulous on it. The two channels are foot switchable. The uh, power section is 6v6 power. I'm a big fan of uh, 6v6 tubes and how they sound. Uh, 12AX7 driven uh, preamp section. I think with the exception of one AT7 on the return uh, on the, the reverb circuit. Um, but yeah, really beautiful kind of Fender uh, deluxe to tweed uh, kind of era uh, sounding amplifier. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to start on the, uh, the rhythm channel. And let you guys hear that. We'll check out the uh, the reverb and the tremolo, and then we'll jump over to the uh, the lead channel. And of course, we'll check out the amazing Iron Man 2 uh, attenuator that comes uh, with the amp as well. It's an excellent uh, amp attenuator. Okay, so here is the uh, the clean channel. So you can see on the uh, on the clean channel, you're going to get a volume, treble, and bass. And right now, it's dialed uh, pretty sweet sounding with just a little bit of breakup. We can make it so it's a little bit uh, cleaner. And then, of course, you can always back the guitar off as well. So really sweet sounding. Uh, here's the treb all the way up. Here's the treb all the way down. And then the bass is kind of that typical, more of a Fender low end where it can get a little uh, almost tubby sounding, but it's still really robust. So there's off. So it'll actually uh, create gain as you turn it up, but it's really easy to find a sweet spot depending on you know what room you're in, what mics you're using, and and what have you. But uh, it's a, just a really sweet sounding uh, circuit. So we can turn it up and get some grind out of it. It's loud in here, but it's not ridiculous. Um, but once again, you can you can take advantage of the the attenuator from that standpoint. But it breaks up really really cool. So that's the humbucker, uh, you know, break up. I'll go ahead and dial it back. Let's just listen to the reverb really quick. You can hear it on a little bit right now. Shut it off. So I'll go ahead and crank it so you can hear it. I can't screw it up, at least not completely. Okay, so there's the reverb. It's a really great sounding reverb. I, I enjoyed just kind of leaving it on the whole time. Loved it. Okay, let's check out the tremolo. Now, the trem on the amp, um, if you're not going to use the foot switch, the trem circuit's always engaged, so you would have to keep the depth uh, at zero. But uh, we've got the foot switch here, so I'll go ahead and turn that on so you guys can hear it.
Fabulous sounding trim circuit. That's what I used in the performance song. You can hear it on the uh, that uh, white uh, PRS guitar I was using. Sounded great. Okay, so that's the uh, the clean channel. We've covered verb, tremolo. Let's look at the lead channel now. I'll go ahead and hit the switch. Now you can do it from the front of the amp as well, but I've got the foot switch here. So here's the lead channel. I'll just hit like a. It's sorry, it's loud in here. I'm right next to the amp too. I'll just hit uh, a humbucker sound to start. <laughs> great sounding it's uh, I love the fact that I'm not reaching to change uh, tone settings as I go back and forth between like a, a neck position to a bridge it sounds really nice uh, just back and forth now this one's got a tone control and a mid bite control as well as your volume control now we can we can certainly get more gain out of it can hear as I crank the gain it's gonna brighten up a little bit we can adjust accordingly that's a pretty killer amount of gain uh, you know th that's on tap and of course you could hit it with boost pedals this thing definitely takes pedals like a champ um, let me roll the tone circuit real quick and I'll do the same with the mids mid bite And as you crank the mid bite, it will create a little bit more gain, which is really cool. Just depends on what you're going for. Okay, so that's how that channel sounds. Really great, versatile sounding, kind of medium gain channel. Now let's get into the uh, attenuator. The way I have it set up right now, and I'll just stay on the lead channel, I'll just start backing it off. Um, the main use for this attenuator, obviously, is if you're breaking windows, but you still want power amp, full output from your power amp, but you want to be able to back it down, this is a really uh, just great sounding uh, way to do it. And it's awesome that this amp actually comes with something like this built in. So we're, yeah, we're pretty loud right now. I'm just gonna start backing off the attenuator kind of one click at a time. So right now we're wide open. I'll go one back. one more back it's getting really quiet now now I think my voice is actually louder you can go even one more so you can tell it's it's really usable amp still sounds great backed off a very usable feature but what makes this even cooler is you know, say you want your clean channel to be super clean, like you want, you know, super clean headroom. So we'll go back to the clean channel. It's like you don't want it to break up at all. But you want more gain uh, in your lead channel. And what's going to happen is we can hit the lead channel now. We'll go from our clean lead channel. It's way louder and you know because you don't have a master volume to attenuate between these two guys um, they put a, a really cool trick on this and basically you can use the amp attenuator the Iron Man and just bypass the clean channel so the clean channel is unaffected as you back it off so check it out I can just back off the lead channel one <laughs> switch back to the clean
way closer in volume and then it gives you even more advantage if you want even more gain out of that side. <laughs> Um, really just useful, great uh, feature, uh, really great idea. So that's it. That is the uh, Tone King uh, Imperial Mark II. Um, obviously, with if you've got any further questions, go to the website and ask away. But as always, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.